in the previous video we have created our serialization helpers that will help us to serialize the data from our game state and eventually save it to a JSON format. Now to do that we will need to go to our game manager script. I'm going to select from the hierarchy the game manager, Let's select the script, three dots and edit the script. Great. Now here we will want to use our save system that we have created. So let's create a public save system reference. Let's call it save system. Okay. Now easier part is to save the data. So let's slide down to the bottom of this class. And after the update method, we are going to create a method called public void save game. And in this method, we are going to simply save the data for our structures in a JSON format. And uh, we are going to use the save uh, system to save it to a file. So first of all, what we will want to create is save data serialization that we have created in the previous video. Let's call it save data equals new save data serialization. As you might recall, this contains a list of uh, save uh, structure data that we can fill in with the data from our structure model. Now, what we will want to do is we are going to type for each and we are going to look for each structure or data in our uh, structure models, a uh, structure manager, sorry, dot get all structures. Now, this method, let's go to the def definition, simply returns us the dictionary of vector three int, which are the positions and structure model data that is the data for each structure that we have prepared in one of the previous videos. We are back in our game manager and for our save game uh, method, we are going to look for each structure of the uh, structure data from our get all structures and we are going to call our save data, which is our save data serialization. We are going to call on it add structure data and we need to add the position, which is the structure data dot key since we are receiving a dictionary this will be a key value pair so we can get the key which is the vector 3 int position and next we need to pass our structure data dot value and we can pass the build uh, building prefab index property and we need to pass structure data dot value which is the structure model and we need to pass the building type property which is the cell type and basically that's it. We have passed all the data to our saved data serialization. All we need to do is convert it to JSON, which is as easy as calling var JSON format equals our JSON utility from unity library dot to JSON. And we are going to pass the save data. So what we can do is call debug dot log and we can log the JSON format just to check out what we have saved and we can call our save system which we have referenced above dot save data and we can simply save our json uh, format string data okay since we need to call this method somewhere let's go back to unity great now our game manager doesn't have a save system reference so let's add here the component save system to our game manager and let's drag the game manager to the save system reference. So we are going to save the uh, data as maybe save city builder data, just to make sure that we have a different name from our data for the test uh, purposes. And let's uh, create now some kind of UI that we can use to call our methods for saving and loading. So let's uh, we have actually the canvas. So what we can do is let's right click on the canvas UI, let's create a panel. Okay, let's call this panel maybe save system. So save system panel. Okay, I'm going to select direct transform and I'm going to hold the shift and alt and I'm going to anchor it to the top. Uh, we can go in the scene view to the 2D mode and we can select the save uh, system panel, click F to focus on it and I'm going to drag it somewhere around here and I'm going to add here a component and let's call a vertical layout group 
so that our buttons will be placed vertically in a downward direction. We can select the alignment to be middle center and that will be it. Now all we need to do is copy one of those buttons from below. So let's select the second panel in our canvas, place root button, control C, select, uh, select our save system panel and control V to place the place root button and drag it into our save system panel. Great. Now this will be our button. Let's select it. Let's rename it to save button. Let's open it and let's select the text and I'm going to rename it to be save. Okay. And let's select the save button, uh, button component. And at the bottom, it has on click functionality. I'm going to set, add here uh, an event using this plus icon. I'm going to drag our game manager. And from it, I'm going to select the function game manager and save game. Now I'm going to press play and let's check if we are able to invoke a save information. I'm going to play some road and I'm going to press save. And you can see that our road was saved and this is a data from our JSON file. So this is the position, building index and build type is one and second position, second building index and build type is again one. So build type one means this is a road and this is the uh, enum that we have saved as an int. We can place a house here and let's save the data. And again, we should see our JSON string formatted uh, save data and we can see that here is the position one position two and position three and the position three has a different building type since this is a structure of type house so we know that we are actually saving the string to a file and i think we have this successfully saved data information that confirms uh, that we have saved it to a file so let's go back to our game manager we can reopen it by going to the game manager in the hierarchy game manager three dots and add the script and all we need to do is simply create a public void load game. And here we are going to load the data from our file. All we need to do is call var json format data equals our save system dot load data. And now we should have our data. Now we could have done a better job uh, informing the class that is using the save system about the status of the save and load functionality so again here we are going to call if our string is null or empty and we are going to check our json format data and if it is we are going to simply return and we can uh, call some method message saying that it was unsuccessful now if we were successful we will need to retrieve this save data serialization so let's copy this save data serialization save data equals and we are going to call our json utility and we are going to call dot from json in the triangular brackets we need to pass save data serialization and we are going to pass as the input our json format data now we have retrieved our data what we can do is call for each tab tab var structure data in our save data dot and we have our structures data and we are going to loop through each building data sterilization but for now we do not have a way to recreate those buildings so what we can do is simply call debug dot log and we can log the structure data dot position dot get value it will get us a vector three and what we can do is maybe plus quotation marks Plus, and we can call structure data dot uh, let's get building type to string so this should uh, print as the name of the enum okay make sure that you finish this line Control s to save the class and let's go back to unity great let's duplicate the save button and let's rename it to be load button and let's change its text so let's expand it select text and let's uh, set it to be load okay and let's select load button again object and let's select on click instead of save game let's select game manager and the load game now if we press play we should be able to click our load button and it will print us the saved structures you can see that there is a road road and a structure so it all works correctly 
but we, again we do not have a way to place those structures back on our map and that's what we are going to tackle in the next video now if you are enjoying this tutorial please leave a like if you want write me some comment with feedback about this tutorial i would really appreciate it see you in the next video